Grand Junction City Council recently approved the purchase of a $750,000 house to help with transitional housing for new city employees, which includes those hired to work for Grand Junction Police and Fire Department. But it wasn't a unanimous vote, and the city may not be able to buy the building they want. Our Michael Lagerwell caught up with the mayor and recaps the meeting. It was budgeted and planned uh, in 2024. On April 3rd, Grand Junction City Council approved a bid of $749,000 to buy the property at 756 Chapita Avenue. Motion passes four to three. According to the listing, the five and a half thousand square foot building built in 1908 is a seven bed, four bath and sits on a 9,500 square foot lot. There's a carriage house, there's a basement apartment and there's a home and that really helps accommodate employees with different kinds of of personal or family situation. Mayor Anastout voted yes on the motion. She told me the housing market has dissuaded people from moving to Grand Junction in the past. That means that we're either delaying getting somebody onto our uh, first responder, uh, police or fire department forces. Those delays or not hiring anyone at all, Stout says, could harm the city as most of the people they're hiring from out of state don't need intensive training. It is a lot less expensive for us to recruit a, a police officer or a first responder who's already had training. We call those lateral hires. Still, some hires are made out of state. My name is Rick Swales. Uh, I work with the City of Grand Junction Fire Department. The fire department hired Swales back in December of 2020, but couldn't find housing, so he had to live with a fellow firefighter. So for 20 weeks, I was uh, basically living with them and uh, pretty much rent free. Despite being on the lookout for homes for him and his family members still living in Georgia, Swales said during the April 3rd meeting, everything was too expensive, too dilapidated, or both. So I literally lived in a camper behind a friend's house. Uh, his homemade camper too for uh, <laughs> several months. Swales only just recently found a place to rent in December, three years after his hiring, but he's still looking because his family still lives in Georgia. I could see how uh, having a home like that would help ease the transition. But not everyone is a fan of the city's bid. I just don't see that this is uh, the right way to spend city funds. Cody Kennedy was the primary dissenting voice on the council saying this potential purchase is out of the city's lane and the upkeep would be too much. I think it is also a bit tone deaf as we <clears throat> have a current housing crisis um, in Grand Junction when it comes to uh, workforce housing. If you look at the market and if we were to buy three individual units at this price point, if you take 749,000 and you divide it by three, we'd, we would be hard pressed to find three units um, under $300,000 each. Stout added this wouldn't be free housing. Employees would still pay to rent the proposed units. Michael Lagerwell, KREX 5 News. It's still not guaranteed the city ends up with this property. If someone else were to buy it, the city would still look to buy transitional housing with its $750,000 budget allotment.